Hey, Chris, um, I was wondering if you'd like to come to my party tomorrow. Thanks, Dad. I'd love to. Yeah. Oh, no. M-E-G. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Uh, nothing. Sports. Birthday sports. No, just sports. Oh, okay. Maggie and not invited to my party. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, what the hell are you doing? I can't sleep, Lois. I'm too excited for my birthday tomorrow. <laughs> Peter, would you get in the damn bed? I'm gonna have the best birthday party ever. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Why don't you open your presents while I cut the cake? Hey, Dad, this came in the mail for you. A card? Hi, Peter. Happy birthday. Just wanted to send our wishes from Virginia. Bye! Okay, Donna, I'm done. I'm gonna go mail this card. Any idea how fast you're going? Uh, no, sir. You getting smart with me, boy? Where'd you get them wheels? Oh, come on, man. Step out of the car. But I ain't done nothing. Hands behind your back. Hey, easy. Come on, watch it. Don't you fight me, boy. You stand on the ground. Come on, now. Hey, get back here. Ah, my arm. Uh, oh, this looks like a safe place to rest. I think you went this way. Peter, close the card. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine. Ah! Here, Peter, why don't you open my gift? Oh, Zales. Yeah, it's just a box, Peter. Tickets to Foxy Boxing? Yes, yeah, this cool thing where girls in bikinis box each other. We're all going Saturday night. Whoa. What planet is this? It's not a planet. Peter, it's Earth. It's a globe. You use it to learn where the countries are. You gave me an educational toy? What do you say to Mr. Swanson? Oh, thank you. Man, would you look at that. Two smoking hot chicks repeatedly striking each other. Yeah, it reminds me of Thanksgiving. Why does it remind you of Thanksgiving? Because this is where I come for Thanksgiving. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? We've reached that part of the evening when our house champion takes on all challengers. Any of you lovely ladies like to try your hand in the ring? Hey, buddy, over here. I see a woman's hand and forearm at table eight. Damn it, Peter. Please, Lois, come on, you gotta fight it. Come on, you gotta, Lois, it, get in there, be great. Down. Come on. It'll be awesome. I'd really like to see that. All right, so how does this work? We gonna pretend to hit each other for a while, then maybe kiss a little, huh? <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> Stop that, young lady. I'm just out here for fun. Yeah, punch each other, you whores. <laughs> no matter what you do for the rest of your life, You'll always be garbage. Well, I gotta say, she's a natural. You know, she could make some serious money as a professional. Wow, you, you really think so? Oh, sure. Women's boxing is a rapidly growing part of the field. You should consider your wife competing for a belt. Well, she did look like she knew what she was doing up there. Think about it. Here's my card. <laughs> what can I say? I really like watching her box. That means two things. Hey, Lois, congrats on winning that boxing match last night. I saw your picture in the Daily Growl. Brian, the Daily Growl is not a real paper. What? Are you... Yeah, it is. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! I like that sound. Morning, everyone. Morning, champ. You feeling loose today? Peter, what are you doing? What is all this? I'm a fight promoter now, and I got you another fight. You're boxing tonight at the Quahog Civic Center. Are you out of your mind? No, Peter, that was a one-time thing, all right? I am not a boxer, and I'm not fighting anyone else, and that's final. All right, all right, how about this, then? I'll take you somewhere real fancy and romantic for dinner, just the two of us. Here, put on these special eating gloves I bought you. Well, why do I need to wear gloves to eat in a fancy restaurant? Because it's so fancy that... Th you know what? I'm tired of this. I booked you a boxing match. Son of a bitch! I'm sorry. That's been a terrible mistake. My idiot husband here booked this match without my knowledge. <laughs> She's from the Ukraine, Lois. She doesn't speak English. One, two, three! Hey, what you doing down here, Lois? Oh, what's your matter? Mad at little old me? In your imagination, I've got long eyelashes. One, two, three! 
Did you know where the Ukraine was because of my globe? No, I saw it in a book. You knew because of my globe, you dick. Dana, I feel great. I've never felt so in control. Oh, I know the feeling. It's how I feel when I burp really loud in an underground parking structure to assert my dominance. <laughs> Says the king. Jeez, Lois, you're really taking this seriously, huh? Well, yeah, Brian, why wouldn't I? I don't know, you've just never really been the aggressive type. I mean, you're usually so measured and collected. I know, Brian, but when I stepped into that ring, I don't know, something happened to me. It's like I tapped into this primal wellspring of pent-up anger that just needed to be released. Lois, tomorrow morning I want flapjacks. It was a simple message, yet it has gone unheeded. <sighs> All right, Peter. Give me a minute. For every five seconds I do not have flapjacks, I shall break one window. Meg, go make your father some flapjacks. <sighs> okay, Mom. This is crazy. Is nobody really making me flapjacks yet? At this point, you guys are being as irresponsible as I am. Well, it's broken, all right. Look at me. I got a broken nose. I think this is a sign that maybe it's time to hang up the gloves. What are you, out of your mind? Wow, don't you give me that attitude, Peter. Look, Lois, we're making a lot of cash with this boxing thing. And I need money for bourbon and anime. Well, I just can't understand any of this. Everybody in Japan is either a ten-year-old girl or a monster. Peter, sometimes you're so insensitive and you make me so angry, I just want to clock you in the jaw. Obviously, I can't do that, so boxing was an outlet. Wait, you mean the reason you fight so good is... Yeah, because I'm making believe I'm fighting you. Wow. Am I that much of a bastard? Sometimes, yes. If you don't want to fight anymore, you don't have to. Well, good. And the truth is, I suppose I kind of got most of it out of my system anyway. Oh, I love you, Lois. I love you too, Peter. Is it cool if I tell your insurance that I gave you heart surgery? I hereby dedicate this statue to Quahog's greatest fighter, Lois Griffin. I'm also having a celebratory keg party back at my house later. You can tell your parents that my parents will be there. <laughs> but they won't be. Oh my God, that's Deirdre Jackson. Who's that? Only the deadliest fighter in all of women's boxing. She's killed three people in the ring. Her fists are so dangerous, she's not allowed to be a lesbian. I know why you're retiring, Griffin. You're scared. Scared? Of what? Of me. Look at these people giving you a statue for fighting a bunch of bums. If you're so great, why don't you prove it? Fight me. Hey, man, you want a real woman? Why don't you bring your pretty little self over to my apartment tonight, and I'll show you a real woman. No, I'm ashamed. Hey, that's my husband you're talking to. Yeah? Look at me, Griffin. I'm milking me a cow. Move for me. Mo. Louder. Mo. Louder. Mo. All right, that's it. You want to fight? You got one. Now you get your hands off my man before I break him off. It's my parents. The party's off, everybody. Get the out of here. We're here live with contender Deirdre Jackson outside her dressing room. Deirdre, is it true you've killed three women in the ring? Tonight it's gonna be four. Are you saying you intend to kill your opponent? Let's just say you don't want to miss round six. <gasps> Lois, you can't go out there. Look, Lois, you don't have to do this for me. I know I make you mad sometimes, but I thought we agreed you'd hang up the gloves. I'll hang up the gloves after I knock her ass out. Peter, she milked your boobs, and there were a lot of people I knew there. Now let's go. In this corner, weighing in at 134 pounds, the top-ranked boxer in all of Rhode Island, Deirdre Action Jackson. I think every Italian in Quahog is here. Yeah, go white girl. Hey, yo, you're getting your grinder on my grinder. Let's put our hands together for Quahog's own Lois Griffin! Any thoughts on the fight, Floyd? 
I, I think that they are they are going to have they are going to be fighting Deirdre's last fight in the contrast to the later one is going to be better better than usually. And how do you think that helps her chances tonight? Well, uh, the match lasted about up, up until the particular inaccuracy, p particular unusually that that should be the ultimate determinant factor in about the twelve round experience heart of a champion margarine hat. Well, we'll be watching for that. We'll be checking in with you throughout the night, Floyd, and happy 23rd birthday. You're welcome. Okay, here's the rules. No hitting below the belt, no rabbit punches, no name calling, no making trouble for unconventional couples who want to adopt babies, because you know what? They ain't getting the good babies anyway. Okay, have a fun fight. Ding, ding. Wow, she's really hitting mom hard. Good. All right, Lois, you listen to me and you listen good. I held your hand during childbirth. I watched you raise three kids on a shoestring budget. You never gave up then and you're not giving up now. Because you're the toughest woman I've ever met. And if there was a Hall of Fame for hearts, yours would be the biggest one in a whole damn building. Peter, you're in the wrong corner. Ah. All right, Lois, you listen to me and you listen good. Damn it! Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at round six. The round that Deirdre Jackson predicted she'd kill Lois Griffin. What do you think, Floyd? Is she going to make good on that promise? Uh, a broken promise is, is a lot like a child's pinwheel. You have to be, be yourself, or at least within the confines. All right, well, let's see what's going on in the ring. Shut up! Everybody, shut up! This took a lot of courage! <laughs> Get up, you die! I've had enough of you! Griffin! Not tonight, I'm not! Now, if everyone could just pick up two chairs before you leave, we can get this place cleaned up a lot quicker. Wow. Well, what do you think, Floyd? How did Lois Griffin do what no other challenger could do and knock out Deirdre Jackson? I have a strong headache when I go to sleep and wake up. And how do you think that's going to affect Jackson's next fight? My Puerto Rican wife got fat. Well, I gotta be honest, Lois. I had my doubts, but you really held your own in that ring. Thanks, Brian. It was nice to go out a champion. Well, we're real proud of you, Lois. And thanks to Deirdre, I even got some of my own milk to put on my cereal. Dad, oh, come Peter, on. Oh, I'm, I'm 